Good morning, teachers. Good morning, classmates. Welcome to Suda. I'm Aileen Hart Arias, your tour guide for today. Are you ready? Okay, let's start. Do you know that terrestrial habitat include desert, grassland, forest, and polar areas? I will just show you some examples of terrestrial habitat. Mass ox. This in polar area. They are characterized by the corn and shaggy fur which covers the majority of their bodies. The most notable, however, is their distinct odor, which is where the musky ox derives its name. Thick fur preserve warm. During winter, they grow thick under most of long street where that comes to the ground. And now, let's go to the raccoon dog. Raccoon dog lives in forest. It has a short brow for blacker shoulders, a heavy body, and a rounded ears. Head and body depth is 50 to 65 centimeters. Tail length is 13 to 18 centimeters. And weight is about 7.5 kilograms. They are most active at night and has an ability to climb trees. Raccoons have many adaptations that help them to survive in a variety of environments. They dump their food by dumping it into water. Their hands are dexterous, which helps them to gather their food. And raccoons go into torpor during the winter to survive. Now, let's visit to aquatic animals. Aquatic animals will be fresh water or marine animals. Fresh water animals live in lakes, rivers, streams, and ponds. Marine animals live in oceans and seas where salt content is high. One example of marine animal is seahorse. Seahorse live in water with true fish and have a swimming bladder. However, they do not have a cow dog fins and have a long, slim, red tail. They also have a neck and snout with a bone stump. Seahorse have a unique adaptation that help them survive in the ocean, including the ability to use camouflage and change the color of their body. Long snouts help them to find food, and excellent vision and eyes that can move independently are great for avoiding predators. Another example of aquatic animal is snap. It is a freshwater animal. They spend much of their life in the water, and they are well adapted. Their web feet help them to swim and to keep their balance on muddy river banks. While their bills have a small bristles to filter food from the water. Ducks have a number of adaptations unique to their habits and habitat. Some individual species have adapted more than others based on their environment. This includes difference in their feet, feather, beliefs, and behavior that make it easier for them to navigate a specific terrain when in to avoid predators and consume available food sources. That's it for today. If you learn anything, tell me what part you enjoy the most. Until next time, thank you!